Welcome back. You are now looking at the open interface for Camtasia version 9. And when you open the program the first time, provided that you have put in your registration key, you will see that you can either start with a new project or a new recording. Now, when you start with new project, Camtasia is actually going to open up the editing interface. And typically you're going to get a screen that's going to ask you if you want to update Camtasia. You are going to want to say yes, and you'll be told that you're running the most current version of Camtasia, especially when you first start. Now, another way to start Camtasia is to start with a new recording. And if you open the interface and you click new recording, the recording interface is going to show up and you'll be able to see where you are going to be able to record your screen or to record a PowerPoint. Now, the other thing that you can do to start Camtasia is to open an existing project. Now, in this particular case, we have just opened or downloaded the new Camtasia, so we don't have any new projects in Camtasia 9. However, what we can do is we can open projects that we have created in other versions. In fact, if you go to any project that you have created in a previous version, you're going to notice that the icon has changed to the icon that's used with Camtasia 9. Now, that doesn't mean that your files have been changed to Camtasia 9 files. It only means that the icon has changed. If you open this project in Camtasia 9, you can actually update the document to be used with the new system. So for example, if we were to go and we were to take one of these files, which was created in a previous version of Camtasia, and we were to open it up, Camtasia is going to give you a message that this project was created in an earlier version of Camtasia Studio. And if you want to open it, you'll be opening it, but you'll be changing it so that it'll only open then in Camtasia 9. You will not be able to use this file again in Camtasia 8. So this is something that you'll want to be aware of with projects that you have created in previous versions of Camtasia. These are not backwards compatible. Once you have changed them over, you won't be able to change them back. So what we're going to do is we're going to say no, but I'll leave that document as it is. The one final thing that we'll want to show before we go to the next video is that if you have entered into the editing screen, you can actually access the recording screen also by going to the top left and clicking this record button. When you do that, then this button is going to show up and you'll recognize this as the recording screen. And those are all the basic ways that you'll be able to enter into Camtasia Studio. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.